Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, and welcome, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to put up on these, this board here a little screenshot of uh, Twitter. So you can get to this website by going to twitter.com. And I want to ask you, first of all, who in the audience has tried Twitter before? Most people have tried it. That's great. And how many people actually post stuff on Twitter regularly? Oh, but yeah, half, half of you pretty much do that. That's great. So, in my speech today, I wanted to talk about, first of all, what are some interesting statistics about Twitter and how it's growing and changing and becoming even more interesting and important. And secondly, I'm going to talk about what does Twitter actually do? So, when you go into Twitter, how do you use it? What are some of the functions of Twitter? And like, what is the purpose of it, the features? And thirdly, I'll talk about how you can use Twitter, either as a person who reads information or contributes to the discussion. So yeah, I'm going to first start off with some interesting statistics. So Twitter is a company. The, I think it's a privately owned company right now. And they have a lot of people investing in them but they don't really have any much way of making money. So the company is valued at over $10 billion, but their annual revenue is only 45 million. So it's quite small compared to the, how much they're worth. But some of the statistics about their users, first of all, Twitter has 100 million, 100, yeah, 100 million active users per month. So those are people who log in at least once a month, some, and half of those people, 50 million people, log in at least once a day. And then 65% or 55% of those people are logging in on a mobile phone or mobile device. And another thing about these people who are using Twitter is that the average age or the, the largest age category, I think more than half of them, are between ages 26 to 34. So it's pretty young, young crowd, I guess I think pretty much everyone here is around that age as well. Okay, so those are some interesting statistics about Twitter, but what does Twitter actually do? How do you use it? Well, if you look at the screen, this picture of me, so it's my uh, profile picture, so everyone can have a profile picture talking about that represents them, and you can also post these little <coughs> updates, and each update is within 1 to 140 characters. So you can't type a great American novel on your Twitter page, and either, but you can write a short description, like a headline, and you can also include a hyperlink, like a URL, with that when someone clicks it, it will go to a web page online. So one thing I can do is, if I have posted a new photo of my, my brother's son, or the new baby, I can post on my Twitter feed, hey, check out this cool baby picture, and I can give a link to the gallery, wherever that's posted online. Or if I'm like a, promoting a business, like SAP, if you go to SAP's Twitter, Twitter feed, it's called SAP News, you'll see all the latest headlines from SAP. So another important thing about Twitter is that you have followers and you can follow people. So it's not just people posting messages, it's also the concept of following people and then when you follow someone, what happens is when they type their messages, they get put into your homepage. So that is, when you log on to Twitter, everyone who you follow, all their messages will be combined into one page, like a big amount of information, and you think, well, how could I possibly deal with all the information, it's just too much information, all these people's babies and cats and you know, <laughs> their videos about their children and their food and everything. How is that all gonna be organized on that page? Well, it's very simple. The most recent information that's posted is at the top. So it favors really up-to-date, useful information that's going to be coming in at the top. And so that's people following you. People can follow you too, and then you can follow them. So when people follow you, then your, your posts are going to be on top, in their lists. And then, then you can follow them back, or you don't have to follow them back. So those are, that's basically how Twitter, Twitter works. And then thirdly, I want to talk about what are some useful things about Twitter? Why did anyone want to join this service? What makes it really revolutionary in terms of what it offers? So firstly, 
if you're one of the 40% of people who just use Twitter to read information, you're probably finding it's very useful to learn information about upcoming events, world events that are recently happening. If you're trying to find out the latest breaking news about, say, an earthquake that just happened, or a tsunami, or anything around the world that's breaking news, more often you can find that information on Twitter faster than you can if you go to the newspaper or news newspaper. Or even just the TV news would not have it as, as frequently. And you can also keep in touch with your favorite celebrities. So if, you're, if you like a certain celebrity, like, oh, I love Beyonce, or I like Justin Bieber, you can subscribe to them, follow them, and you can find out what they like doing, or what they're doing. Like, oh, I just played a concert last night, or my mom just got run over by a bunch of screaming fans, or whatever celebrity you follow. And you can also <laughs> use it to stay in touch with your friends. Like I say just to my friend Earl here, she posts wonderful things about herself going out for dinner, and it's really nice to know all this useful information. You can also get involved with Twitter. Say like you wanted to share information with friends, you can post updates, like, and your friends can receive the information. And not just your friends, if you have a blog or ideas or a brand, you can use Twitter to promote your brand, get a bunch of followers to follow you. And those people can build an audience of people who share your interests. So it's really useful for all those few reasons. So in conclusion, Twitter is useful for many reasons. I've explained hopefully what it, what it is and some of the ways it's growing. And I think we can really see Twitter to become even more important website in the future with more and more people using it. It really speeds up communication, information flow around the world. And you'll notice like the Middle East has been having a lot of revolutions lately. And it's called the um, Arab Spring. And lar largely because of social media like Twitter, lets people organize, provides better governments, better societies, and so it basically improves the world in a great way. So yeah, that's my talk about Twitter. Hope you found it interesting, and I uh, look forward to your speeches as well. Thank you very much.